Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, as you notice, I am oh, wrecking my truck. Um, but I'm not in my uh, normal truck. Uh, my normal truck's in the shop, getting repaired. Uh, apparently, uh, it was a little too hard on the motor, so um, it's getting a uh, set of C15 put into it. And it's been down probably about a week. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to turn around. I figured I'd start doing, you know, gaming updates or gaming, you know, videos while I'm sitting in the hotel with the internet. Uh, plus, I love playing American Truck Sim, and I finally was able to download multiplayer and start getting on that. Um, something I don't really do while I'm on the road because I only run off hotspots, so the hotspots are a little in and out when I'm on the road, um, especially as soon as I go over my 10, 10 gigs or whatever it is of data that I'm allowed. Uh, then it drops down to next to nothing, and I can't even go on the internet, let alone anything else. But, uh, yeah. So, um, anyone that's seen my other American Truck Simulator videos, um, knows that I had the green truck. Uh, now I have, uh, blue Ken Mars in my fleet, and then I think I have a couple of Volvos on my, my single player profile. Um, just because that was what, was it, what I was able to get um, on my my low XP level or whatever, because I had to restart. And I can um, they ain't going through this way. I am lost when it comes to this. Um, with some of the updates, some of the maps have changed a little bit. Oh, okay. So I've already got the trailer. I just need to hook up to it. All right. It's so much easier driving an actual truck than this. Doing this, um, you can see a lot more. Uh, granted, if I wanted to, I could use a view I was in when I first started running this video. But uh, yeah, um, personally, I prefer to drive inside the truck so I can keep that experience. But uh, there are times, especially when I'm doing uh, docks and stuff like that, that I use. Uh, I don't know what the, the view is called, but it's the top-down view, uh, button number three on the, the keyboard, so that way I can see the line of the trailer and see if it's going to clear. But, uh, yeah. So this right here is a World of Trucks uh, load that I'm picking up. It's a contracted load. And apparently my joystick has a small twins to the right. As you can see, I'm not turning the wheel, and yet the wheel is turning. Um, that would be a challenge. Um, I guess it's time for a new controller. I'm putting, putting a far cry and plenty of uh, fallout and stuff on this controller, so it's definitely time for a new controller, I guess. Oh, oh we got on doubles. That was going to be interesting. Um, alright, I'm not even going to look, we're just going to go, there you guys know what's coming, I guess I'm going to look at the map and see that nobody's coming. Um, everyone on the map, I guess, shows up with a blue dot, and then if I hit tab, um, I can turn around and open up a screen and see how far people are that are within like 500 meters or something like that of me. Um, it's also people that would be considered in radio range, which you can see the, the CB radio up there. Um, Apparently you can change the channels on, on it on that. I haven't really got that far yet. Um, I'm just trying to get my profile built up over here because I'm literally, I think I'm like level two right now. Or level one or something, like nothing impressive. So I'm just trying to get my profile built up so I can have some of my stuff back, like my stand-up sleeper, and, uh, some of my strobe lights and stuff like that that I had on my truck originally. Uh, I guess there's one person that's behind me. I'm gonna right up here. Um, We'll see if they take off. I'm gonna cruise right there, the double nickel, and right around it. I'm not gonna push too hard. Um, try to keep it semi legal. I got 213 miles to go. It says 4 hours and 33 minutes. This will probably take me all 20 minutes uh, to roll. So we'll see. But. Alright, and cruise control is active. It's not such a focus on keeping it somewhat between the lines so we'll see what this guy does um, 
Yeah, she's rolling right behind me for the most part. Hey, right, slowly gaining. I guess he's gonna make the pass. Uh, like I said, I'm not gonna push. I'm not gonna try to push for a pass or you know push to run out past him. I think my truck is actually limited at uh, 65 right now with this load. So we'll see what he decides to do. Uh, hopefully, he's not one of these guys that I keep hearing about that you know, been running people off the road or ramping into people. But we'll see. Um, Looks like he's trying to keep it legit, which I appreciate. But now nah, it's gonna keep off of him. Which is also one of the main things during actual trucking is keeping enough distance where you're not like massively over the opposing line and so you're not too close to the driver that you're riding next to. Boom. One of us is lagging, he's in a Volvo. I'm gonna step over to this line a little bit. Give him some space. Running a good old tanking anchor. Albino 98, it's looking good. Um, I like the look of the, the truck and the anchor. And then again, I guess I'm a nerd. Um, Give him a good old flash to let him over. I take it he's either a truck driver or he knows truck drivers and the fact that he gave the boy a flash to, to let me know that you know, he was good. To say thank you, uh, it's pretty cool. I'm really not used to that you know, big game, but I don't play multiplayer like I said. I, I play a lot of single player and you don't get that in the the single player, uh, the single player a lot of times you just get cars that cut you off and they slam the brakes, which is just like real life, but uh, yeah, so, um, I say one thing I just got reading, uh, I was reading a small article on, uh, on Facebook about actually the state that I'm driving in right now on this game, uh, apparently California is trying to make it 2050, so you cannot run a diesel semi truck in the state uh, so that's what 30 years from now 31 years from now they want to see you cannot run a diesel semi truck I think that's kind of stupid um, I really don't think that these guys understand where their freight comes from or where their food and all that other stuff like how it moves around the, the state and the country um, but I guess we'll see how it plays out um, I do know that they are some of the leaders when it comes to other states running uh, emissions control. Uh, the, the county that I live in in Maine uh, actually utilizes a couple rules from California's original card rule, which is um, has to do well in the county I live in has to do with uh, certain types of exhaust and catalytic converters and stuff like that and having certain emissions. I believe like Massachusetts and a few other states also run off that. Um, a lot of, from what I hear in Massachusetts, let me get back on the road here. A lot of what I hear in Massachusetts, these guys are actually mandating that cars go on to like a little mini dime and they uh, are required to run on the dyno to test their emissions with a sniffer in the tailpipe, which will read like the NOx and all that stuff. I don't know if that's how California is doing it with their semi trucks. I'm, I'm not sure about a truck that's inspected in California. Ooh. And I missed my exit. Should have been paying attention to the map. Plus, I also need fuel. So, something I can't do on the highway in real life that I can do on the game. Oh, I forgot I'm hauling double, so I jacked my trailer. Way to go, jackass. This is probably why I don't haul doubles in real life. I'll stick to my 48 spread. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I don't understand how uh, California works in real life on emissions and stuff, but I do know that a lot of states adopt their rules, and some of the rules are pretty stupid. Um, just like in real life, you're not allowed to modify your newer vehicle's exhaust. 
Um, I'm a big car guy. That's a big thing for me. Um, I like having custom exhaust. So my vehicles have no exhaust. Um, I just, I personally think it's stupid to have the government overstep that far when it comes to your vehicles. But it's part of the price of playing the game in California, I guess. Don't have to agree to it. But that's also because I don't live there. Uh, let's see. We're gonna make this turn in. Oh, plenty of room. I really gotta get that controller fixed. Um, so, I guess some of the other things I can talk about. Um, for those that you know, are actually watching this and see the view from this truck, um, this is actually pretty close to what you can and can't see when you're driving in a Kenworth W900. Um, they got it pretty damn close. Um, it's, it, I, I'm actually pretty impressed because it's in this it's actually almost down to the switches and everything on what my truck looks like. Uh, minus the fact that I don't have that cool little GPS on the dashboard. Um, and my radio is over where that center console piece is in the, the head there. But uh, it's, it's pretty close to exactly what my truck looks like. Uh, same with the light switches being where they are. Um, I don't know what that is right above that GPS, but in my truck that's where the actual radio is. I think the, the AM FM radio. Um, my CB radio would be in the cubby to the right of where that CB radio is. And I do have a cool ass sunroof. But uh, other than that, it's, it's almost exact. Um, put a job visor on it and had a couple uh, spotter mirrors on each regular mirror and you pretty much got my truck um, and also my custom steering wheel which I say custom but uh, one of my buddies actually bought it for my birthday a while back ago we put it on the truck which is just a blue steering wheel um, I think you get it from like Island Yeti or something so um, but yeah if you're if you ever wonder like what it actually looks like in a truck, it, this is actually pretty close. Um, when it comes to like your blind spots and what you can't see, it, it's almost dead on in here. Uh, only difference in this game to real life is it's a lot easier to stay straight on the road in real life than it is in the game. Uh, but then again, I'm also going to blame that partially on my controller. So, um, yeah, this is uh, ATS and SES or SES software or I don't know the actual name or you know unabbreviated letters of the SES but these guys actually did really good um, I know they actually used to be the 18 was a steel uh, group which they did really good with those games as well but when they actually started adding real trucks especially with uh, Euro Truck Simulator and American Truck Simulator they actually did Peterville, Kenworth, and all that. They did a really good job of capturing what it's like to be inside these trucks. Um, it would be cool if they gave a little more detail with sleepers, but um, they they show like what the basic sleeper looks like, but obviously you don't get the experience of seeing what the sleeper looks like when you're setting inside of it. Um, partially due to, you know, obviously the fact that you can't control the, the driver moving in the truck. But, but I really think they did a damn good job of keeping the realism up. So, I don't know, I'm still driving on the, the throttle. I'll turn around and use cruise control again. So I'm doing 10 over the speed limit, but I'm up against my uh, my limiter for the World of Trucks contract. So, plus I think I'm in Mexico. Uh, why? I have no idea. El Centro might be in. California. I, I've never taken the southern route out of California when I've driven in and out. Um, I've taken 10 in and out, but I've never gone south of that. Uh, right there where the Yuma border is. I've, I've been into Yuma, but I've never actually 
to run, uh, was it 29 or, or no, it might be 8. It's Highway 8. I've never actually run Highway 8. Um, coming across. I don't, I don't even know if it goes all the way across. Yeah, it's Highway 8. Um, like I said, I don't even know if it goes all the way across the, to California. It, I guess it does. Um, just as my ignorance of that part of the country. But then again, uh, I try to stay the away from it. I try to stay where the money is when it comes to, to flat bedding. I do a pretty good job of that when I stay in towards the, the center part of the United States, especially with uh, a lot of auto companies and a lot of uh, stamping companies and milling companies and stuff like that. They they operate primarily out of the central United States. Um, so it's just kind of a perk of where I work. But oops. I got live PD going on in the background here, so it's kind of peeking up and watching some stuff while driving here. Probably not the smartest idea, but... Uh, but yeah, so... If anyone actually has questions on, uh, you know, different things that we do or different things that truckers do or what it's like to be on the road, uh, feel free to turn around and ask. I, I have enough experience where I can kind of help people out. I might not have the exact answer. I definitely don't have all the answers in the world because I'm not, you know, one of these guys has been out here for 30, 40 years. Um, the guy that actually owns my truck, he's been out for quite a few years. He's been around, he's sent car hauling and stuff like that. So I, I get a lot of experience from him on uh, different things. He's also really good when it comes to the mechanics of the, the truck. Um, he can actually almost fully diagnose it without even being around the truck. So that's pretty cool that I actually get to experience that. Um, but yeah, if anyone has questions, feel free to leave it in the comments or you know my email is always open. Uh, you might want to just like leave like a random headline and will catch my eye because I get a lot of spam in my email, uh, which is uh, adsolstice at gmail.com. But uh, yeah, it's getting to be about that time where gonna have a well I won't have to back this one in um, actually because I can where I have doubles I don't think it'll let me back it in so it will be a fairly quick drop off and as soon as I drop off I will um, turn around and shut this section down we're just about at 18 minutes right now so it'll probably be about 20 minutes by the time we get fully parked here um, and I'll find another load, but plus I'm blowing into town, speeding. Ooh, 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 ooh. Whoa! I thought I could go further than that. Okay, that's one thing I don't like about this game is if you're not paying attention, then those X's will get you very fast. Partially my fault because I was paying more attention to my drop off, which I thought I could go straight down the road and take a, a right. Which, if I would have paid attention to the map, I guess I would have seen that I couldn't. Uh, very typical bringing ventilation units into a construction site here. Where you on it? Sure. I'll pull straight forward for 25 XP. I wish you'd give her that little stupid proceed to loading area or unloading area thing. But So I uh, hope you all kind of enjoyed it. I know it's kind of shitty and kind of short, but uh, if anyone's got questions, feel free to hit me up on you know the YouTube comments or through email, and I'll catch you guys later.